Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my humble home, my humble property in Livingston, Montana. Okay, just for reference of purposes and whatnot, have you, today's date is May 2nd of 2021. It is a Sunday, I do believe. Yeah, it's a Sunday. Okay, this boring video here is once again, once again, about real estate in the state of Montana. Now, I never really, it, from the beginning of my existence here on YouTube, I never did want to, my channel to be a, a, a channel about real estate and getting housing and living in Montana and all that, especially real estate, you know, that game, that ridiculous, whatever you want to call it. I, I, I You know, I'm not a realtor, I don't work as a realtor, but however, I am keenly aware of what is going on in the state of Montana. Okay, I am getting this information that I'm passing on to you right directly from my daughter and my son-in-law that lives over in Belgrade, Montana. My son-in-law is directly involved with the building business, the construction business, the housing business, the concrete business. His job is kind of complicated. I can't, I don't, I don't want to get into what he does, but he finds, I'll just say this for just, for the meantime here, he finds level for these contractors that are coming in to pour concrete. You can't pour concrete until you know where level's at. It's as simple as that. And he, he does all this, his kind of work with a, with a, with a, what's it called, a trimble? It's a, it's a laser. It's a laser shooting type of device that finds level for him and everything. And so he's the first guy that's ever on a job before they even lay one stick of wood, one piece of, con one blob of concrete or anything. He's got to be the first guy on a construction job because you can't start constructing unless you know where, like I know I'm repeating myself, unless you know where level's at. So what it is, I'm going to try to state what I need to state real quicker. This son-in-law of mine and my daughter just got done four or five months ago because it's taken them that long to wrap up this deal, but they just got done buying them a real expensive place over in Bel uh, Belgrade, Montana. I'm not saying, I'm not doxing them. And what they elected to do was take their old place there in Belgrade and fix it all up, hoping to get, you know, as much money out of the thing, which I don't blame them as, as they can. So, naturally, they're, they're, this buying arrangement they had for their new home and whatnot have you, they had some, they had some money working for them that I'm not at liberty to say here, but they had, you know, they had their own source of money that was able to buy out their place, their own place, and in, in, in order for them to get the, the, they needed to overhaul the basement, the basement was always unfinished, and they, you know, this, this is what they did. They put in a couple of bathrooms, a heated floor, all kinds of rooms, painted the thing, light, fancy lights. I know I've been in there several times, but it's taken them quite a while to get all this work done. Brand new carpets down there and everything, because basically they were won 420000 out of their old place. But the realtor come along and told them about this wonderful thing that I just had to get on YouTube and talk about this for a few seconds. So you folks don't think I'm kidding about this about this high real estate market in Montana. But what's happening now, especially over in Gallatin County, where Bozeman's at, is they're having what they call bid wars. Did you hear me? Bid wars on these homes. So like a half, like. You you take like my son-in-law and my daughter. They're hoping to get four twenty-five out of that place, but the realtor has done come along and said, "Look, don't be surprised if in the first week or so, maybe, yeah, it's only going to take about a week for them guys to sell that place. But you're going to get like four or five bids, and this place could go as high as you know, like I think she was talking like four eighty or four ninety or some crazy thing like that." especially if they get a lot of people bidding. Now, I just can't believe this. I can't believe this shit. Bidding on homes. Instead of, back when I bought this home here in 2004, I was able to dicker with the old boy, and, and what I did is I got, I, I was able to buy this house cheaper than what he wanted. He wanted 100, 
at 40,000, I countered at 130,000, we settled at 134,000, while my real estate agent was freaking out because she figured I could never pull that off. But you see what I'm getting at? But now, when houses are going on the market, I don't know about here in Park County so much or Livingston where I live, but over there in Gallatin County, I don't care what it is, if you got a home over there right about that four, you know, 400,000 to half a mil mark and everything, you're going to get what they call, I don't, my wife told me whatever I did, don't use the word auction because she knows what's going on. It's not housing auction, but it's bidding wars. You'll have four or five, six parties bid, bidding on a house and the price is going up. I never thought I'd see this shit. This, the real estate people that's dealing with my son-in-law and my daughter told them just here yesterday that in just this last month, in a month of April of 2021, the real estate, real estate values and the price of property has went up 17%. 17% in one month. So what I'm trying to say to make this mean, this file mean anything is if you want to move to Montana, you better get her done. Get her done. Because this crap ain't getting any cheaper. You got bidding wars going on with, you know, with property and you got, you know, the, the property's out of sight, out of sight. And now that I've got only about seven minutes on this file or they are close to it, I'm going to get out of sight. I just had to squeak this in here. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for listening to me. Uh, we'll see you on down the trail. Take care of yourselves and adios, my friends, and be good to each other and all that other stuff. Goodbye.